Hey there! I'm Rebecca Shinsky, the Director of Content for Book Riot. I am here this week with Swiss Army Book Recommendations. These are books you can give to even the hardest to shop for book lovers in your life or the people in your life who either only read a few books each year or who don't really read but they want to or you want to get them into books. So let's break it down. Okay, first up is She Matters, A Life in Friendships by Susanna Sonnenberg. This is the book that you buy for your best friend, your sister, your mom, the aunt that you're really close to, any woman who's been important in your life, even if the relationship is not a perfect relationship all the time. Each chapter of this memoir is an essay about a different relationship that Sonnenberg had with a different important woman in her life. Some of them are friendships that have shaped her and lasted a very long time. Some of them are friendships that she screwed up. Some are friendships that the other person screwed up. Some, you know, it took both people to break that party down. And all of these pieces are so thoughtful. This is a really great look at the power of relationships that women have with other women and all of the different shapes and forms that those can take in our lives and the different purposes that they serve as we age and as the things that we need at different stages in our lives change. I really love this book. I've given it to so many friends. I gave it to my mom. You can't really go wrong with She Matters. Okay, next up for the person who loves books and loves reading but doesn't really get around to it very often because if you buy this for somebody who loves books and reads a ton of them, they're already going to have read it. The Storied Life of A.J. Fickrey by Gabrielle Zevin. This is the charmingest book that I have ever read, I think. It's about a man named A.J. Fickrey who lives on a small island in the Northeast. He's having a really bad year. His wife has died, his bookstore's sales are way down, he doesn't know what he's going to do with himself. And then an unexpected delivery happens to him, something very unexpected happens that changes his life and he meets a young woman who's working as a sales rep for a publisher. She comes to his store to talk to him about the titles that are coming out, and they have a lot in common. This is about books, it's about relationships, it's about that dream that all of us are nursing inside of moving somewhere quiet and opening a bookstore and just living out our lives surrounded by books and the people who love them. It's so sweet, it's very surprising, I just loved the crap out of it. You won't go wrong and it won't offend anybody. For lovers of history and fun facts and invention and evolution and who want to have a bajillion interesting trivia tidbits to drop at the next dinner party. The Emperor of All Maladies by Siddhartha Mukherjee. This is a super comprehensive but really accessible, and I know you don't believe me because this book is this big, but so accessible history of cancer. Mukherjee looks back to the very first times that we became aware of cancer in recorded human history all of the different ways that people tried to treat it, how the effective treatments were discovered, some of them are really incredible accidents, and also all that's involved now in cancer treatment and research. He himself is a physician and researcher. He shows such remarkable empathy and understanding and appreciation for his patients who enabled him to get to this position. I know you're thinking that you don't want to read a like 700 page book about the history of cancer, but I promise you, you do, and so does someone in your life. This book is excellent. For feminists, both budding and established, you will not do better than Bad Feminist by Roxane Gay. This is a hilarious, thoughtful, so smart collection of essays. Some of them are cultural criticism. We get to read uh, Gay's reviews of popular movies and music and TV. And some of them are more political, theory, feminist thought kinds of pieces. The title comes from the fact that Roxane Gay was realizing if you set out to be a perfect or a good feminist, you're going to fail every time. All of us have weaknesses, all of us have shortcomings, we are inconsistent, everybody's fave is problematic, as the internet likes to tell you. So we can strive to be bad feminists, we can hold feminist values, we can fight for equality, we can do the things that matter, but we can maybe also like hip-hop songs that aren't great towards women some of the time, because humans are complicated and that's okay, it's better to strive imperfectly than to not strive for the thing at all. Whoever you give this book to will laugh, they'll think, they'll be exposed to some new ideas. They and you probably won't agree with everything, but you're not supposed to. The whole point is to be thinking about it and asking the questions, and that's exactly what Roxy and Gay will help you do. Last but not least, this is for the food and travel lovers that you are shopping for. It's Life is Meals, a food lover's book of days by James and Kay Salter. James Salter, the renowned and one of my 
my favorite American novelist who recently passed away. When the Salters were first married, they bought this leather journal that they kept in their kitchen where they wrote down their favorite recipes, they kept records of places that they ate when they were traveling, great meals that they had, dinner parties that they threw with notes like made the lasagna and Jerry ate four portions so that they could have a memory but also so that they could refer back to all of this food that was meaningful in their lives. This book is a compilation of all of those things, those experiences and those recipes and those meals and those memories from throughout their lifetime together. And there's one entry per day. So you can see like on March 3rd, they're talking about first tastes and on March 4th, they're talking about chefs. So someone can read this book one entry a day, or if they're like me, they'll just love it and plow right through it. It also makes a really good wedding gift if you're looking for a wedding gift. Give this and a blank journal and let the couple, you know, start their own life of foodie adventures together. Those are my Swiss Army picks. I would love to hear about the books that you hold on to as recommendations that you can give to just about anyone in your life. So tell me in the comments below and don't forget to click subscribe so you can stay up to date with all of Book Riot's bookish goodness. I'll see you next time.